Hey guys, I'm back with another project on the Ram 1500. In this case, I'm looking at uh, cleaning out the um, idle air control valve. And essentially these get gummed up and you know clogged up and they can make the idle run really rough. So this is a way to fix that. So let's just get right into it without any further ado. All right, so you need to take off your air box, and if you want to know how to do that, in one of my other videos I show you, it's pretty easy. Disconnect over there, um, unconnect this hose, then unconnect the one connector to the mass airflow sensor, loosen this and loosen your bolts, pull it right off. Um, so right under here is your idle air control valve right here. So if you want to remove this, you're just gonna push this red clip back, and then you're gonna pull this off. And we have two bolts here, which we'll remove, and then we'll just pull this thing out. And it's probably all gummed up and needs to be cleaned out. So that's about what, what we're about to do right now. All right, I hope this is a good angle, but I basically pushed this clip back. Uh, you can use a screwdriver. I just took this little screw and just pushed it back. Once you do that, then you're going to push the little pin bolt behind it. And then just wiggle the connector right off. Okay. And then right there, it looks like there's a Torx bolt there and a Torx bolt right up there. And we're just gonna remove these bolts. Just to give you a better angle here, again, just pop this little red guy off here, pop that back, push this little button, the black button that's right there, and then just wiggle this right off. And then Torx there, and there should be another Torx right up in there. So we'll go ahead and remove those right now. All right, so the Torx, so right now I actually moved the camera, I found a good spot straight on from the front of the car. So I'm standing right at the front, looking at the, uh, you know, looking at from the front of the hood up to the windshield, which is up here. Okay, so right on the front, this is a T20 Torx. So I'm gonna get that in here and loosen this guy. And if it's a little bit uh, iffy, then spray it with some spray so that it, you know you don't break this bolt. So I'm just gonna spray it with some lubricating oil to make it easier to open. All right, so I put a little WD-40 and loosening this guy up, it's coming out. All right, so there's the for first bolt right there. So the Torx head, put that aside. And the other one's hard to see. All right, so I stand corrected. There is only one bolt holding it on on the bottom. I thought there was another one on the top, but there is not. So I removed the valve above, which I have to figure out what that is. If you know what that is in the comment section, uh, let me know. But basically it's in there tight and you're just gonna have to wiggle it, loosen it up, pull it out. And you're gonna see in here that I have a lot of carbon buildup, which is exactly what I was expecting because this Vehicle has 200 plus thousand miles. Who knows if this guy's been changed. I don't know if you can see it very well. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean this out. So basically what this does is it allows the vehicle to get air at, um, at idle. And so if this is dirty and messed up, you're going to get a lot of you know hesitation and an unsmooth idle. Once you aren't idling, then what happens is this guy opens up and then allows the air to go in. But when your stop, this is closed, and this is the guy that then allows air to go in. So if you're gonna clean this up, make sure when you're doing that, you're gonna hold it this way and you're gonna spray into it uh, in here and especially in here. But because this is electronic, you don't wanna hold this down this way and have spray spraying into here. You wanna make sure that you're spraying in here and allowing the liquid to drip down. So I'm gonna take my intake cleaner and just clean this whole whole guy up all right so as i said i don't want to get any liquid on here being this is electronic so i'll just clean over here and i want to kind of hold it this way you can see already the carbon and deposits that were on there that are coming off so clean this thing out you may want to replace it but you know if you at least clean it out it should uh, make a world of difference in your idle see there I'm getting a bunch of carbon just flaking out over there which is it's good to get it out so shooters again one more time 
and then flip it over. And then I'm gonna shoot. And then I'm gonna shoot some up into there, but facing downward so that no liquid goes up into the top. But as you can see right there, there's a lot of carbon particles there and little pieces that have come off. So I'll just clean this up really nice and then reinstall it. And then if you have an old toothbrush or something like that, you can you know, scrub out in here and clean all this carbon up. I also took a Q-tip. Maybe you'd say don't do that. I don't know, but um, I used a Q-tip and cleaned a lot of the carbon off up in here because was, there was a lot caked in. I don't know if you can see with the light. I'll try to get it over on this side. But um, there was a lot of carbon caked up in here as well as up in there, and I cleaned all that out. And here's how the valve goes. So when it's, and see that moving in the middle right by where my thumb is? When you're pushing in, when the air, when this kind of allows, this valve will open and allows the air to get in there. And at idle, it'll work if, as long as everything's kind of, you can see there where I push it, it goes up, when I let it go, it goes back down. As long as that ceiling and all, uh, you should be good to go. If not, then, you know, obviously replace it if you feel the need to do that. All right, so to put it back in, just line up the, line up the hole here at the bottom with the hole over here at the bottom and just slide it in. There's two rubber gaskets, so it's gonna be a little tough to push it in. Just a quick tip, I found it really hard to kind of push this thing in, so what I did was I lined the bolt up at the bottom and just slowly started cranking the bolt down and it just pushed it in nicely. As it was going in, I let back on the bolt just a little bit just so it would go evenly between the top and the bottom, but just putting the bolt in was great and uh, brought it back to flush. I took a paper towel also, decided to soak it, and then go inside here and rub around too. Get on any carbon that I can find in here. And you can see there's a whole bunch of carbon in there too. So I wouldn't spray in there. Maybe you can, maybe you can't, but if you're not sure, I wouldn't spray in there. Just take a, you know, a, Sprayed paper towel, clean that out. As you can see, I got a lot of carbon in there. So I'll try to flip my paper towel over the other way and do the same. So you can see that, I'll stick that in there again. Yep, and we got a, a little more carbon over there too. So clean that all out. And yeah, I definitely recommend doing that. Put your paper towel or your rag in here and clean out inside. And hopefully after this, my car will run much smoother at idle. And I'll let you know in the comments below. Have you done this? Let me know. Love to hear your experience. Give a thumbs up if you learned something. Thanks for watching and we'll check you out in the next video.